Today, we're working hamstrings, quads, shoulders, triceps, and biceps. This is a full body workout. You will need a set of dumbbells for today's workout. We're gonna be doing seven exercises. The deadlift, shoulder press, the tricep press, the bicep curl with a hold, the L lift, Y raise, and the tricep kickback. So when you're ready, let's get started. We're gonna get started with the deadlift, two dumbbells. However, if your hamstrings are super tight, try the first set or two with no dumbbells and just work on maybe loosening up the tight muscles. If you're gonna use dumbbells, two dumbbells, the palms of your hand are facing your quads. You're standing up nice and tall. Shoulders are pulled back, abs are tight. We're gonna hinge forward, sticking our butt to the back of the room as we lower the dumbbells. So the dumbbells are gonna kinda slide down your leg, go about shin level, and right back up. We're gonna do 10 of these. Let's go down and bring it back up. One. Nice and slow, lots of control. Two, three, keep your back flat. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one. Nice job, and rest it out. We're gonna do that two more times. Really think about how tight your hamstrings are if you need to loosen them up a bit. Try doing it without any weights, or maybe not even go down quite so far. All right, stand up nice and tall. Shoulders pulled back, abs are tight. Hinge at the hip, let's go. Down and up. Really think about pushing your butt to the back of the room and keeping your back nice and flat. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more and 10. Nice job, rest it out. We're gonna do it again. So when you're ready, standing up nice and tall. Shoulders pulled back, abs are tight. Hinge forward, take it down. One, two, you can give a little squeeze in your butt at the top. There's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, last two, one more. Nice job and rest it out. We're gonna do a shoulder press. You can do this seated. I'm on a chair, you can do it on a bench, you can do it standing, you can even do it kneeling if you wanted to. But we, the idea is to have a nice straight flat back, core is tight, we're gonna take the dumbbells up. So our arms are parallel to the floor, let's press it up, we're gonna do 10, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, keep going, seven, eight, two more. Last one, nice job, bring your weights down, rest it out. We're gonna take a quick rest, but please, as always, if you need a longer rest, just hit the pause, take your rest, then come back. All right, so when you're ready, let's get back into position. Arms are up, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. 
Last one. Nice job, bring your weights in, rest it out. We're gonna do that one more time through. So when you're ready, abs are tight, sitting up nice and tall, standing nice and tall, shoulders pulled back. Take your weights up into position, arms are parallel to the floor, take it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one. Nice job, bring your weights in and rest it out. Up next is the tricep press. You will need two dumbbells. We're gonna roll all the way back on the floor. Feet on the floor, back, shoulders press into the floor, abs are tight. Bring your arms in close to the side of your body. We're gonna press these weights up overhead and down. Let's go. Up and down. Keep your arms close to your body. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. 10, nice job, bring your weights in, roll it up. We're gonna rest for just a, a moment or two, but again, hit pause if you want a longer break. When you're ready, grab your dumbbells, lower back to the floor, make sure your back is pressed to the floor, shoulders are to the floor, arms are close to your side, abs are tight, take it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one. Nice job, bring your weights in, roll it up. We're gonna rest for just a moment. When you're ready, grab your weights. Roll on back. Back shoulders pressed to the floor. Abs are tight. Take it up. One, two, three, four. Lots of control. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, one more, 10. Nice job, bring your weights in, drop your weights, roll it on up and rest it out. Next up is the bicep curl with a hold. For this one, you, you most likely will want a weight that lighter than what you use for the regular bicep curl, but you get to pick. So for this one, one arm is gonna stay nice and stable parallel to the floor. The other arm is gonna do all the work. Well, we'll see about that. Let's go. Abs are tight, standing up nice and tall. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Make sure that arm that's parallel to the floor is not moving. Got one more. Nice job. Now you can bring your arms down and rest if you need to. We're gonna do the same thing other side. Arm stays stationary. We're gonna curl. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10, nice job, rest it out. So what I meant in the beginning, one arm is doing the work, it appears by curling, but the other arm, the stationary arm, is doing a heck of a lot of work too. All right, so pick your weights if you need to go up or down, go ahead and do that now. 
Standing up nice and tall, shoulders pulled back. One arm goes stationary. Now, the thing to keep in mind is this arm is gonna start to get, this is gonna feel heavy. Your arm's gonna want to slide down. The goal is to keep it up here, parallel to the floor. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Last one. Nice job. Now we're gonna switch arms. Give yourself a quick little rest there if you need to. Arm goes parallel, let's curl. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep going. Seven, eight, nine, one more. 10. Nice job. Bring your weights down. Rest it out. We're going to do that one more time all the way through. So when you're ready, one arm is parallel to the floor. Let's curl. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're just gonna switch. Other arm goes parallel. Let's curl. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nice job, just two more. Last one. Nice job, and rest it out. Up next is the L lift. So we're gonna be seated nice and tall, legs are extended, hands are on the floor for support just so we can stay upright. We're gonna lift one leg up over an imaginary item, tap and bring it back down. If that becomes too difficult as you fatigue, you can move to just a straight up and down, just up and down tap, up and tap. All right, so now you have two options. All right, sitting up nice and tall. Let's go, let's take it up and over that imaginary item. Let's go. Up, tap, and back. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep going. I know your leg's getting tired. There's eight, nine, and ten. Nice job. Let's go to the other side. Take it up and over. Up, down, tap and back. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, keep going, nine, and ten. Nice job. Rest it out, shake your legs out if you need to. I know this one is harder than it looks. All right, sitting up nice and tall, let's go. Up and over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, one more. Good job, and switch sides. Let's keep going. Up and over. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Nice job. Two rounds down, one to go. All right, when you're ready, let's go. Up and over. Tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. Good job. Now, last side. Let's go up and over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one. Nice job, and rest it out. Up next is the Y raise. You'll need two dumbbells standing up nice and tall, abs are tight. We're taking these dumbbells out to the corner of the room, let's go. One, up going about shoulder height. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, last two. One more. Nice job, we're gonna rest it out. When you're ready, we're gonna keep going. So hit the pause if you want a longer break. Stand it up nice and tall, shoulders pulled back, abs are tight. Let's go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one. Nice job. Rest it out. We're going to do that one more time through. So please make sure you're taking enough of a break. You want your muscles to rest enough that you can finish the next set. All right. Standing up tall, shoulders pulled back, abs are tight. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last two, one more. Nice job and rest it out. Up next is the tricep kickback. You'll need one dumbbell. We're gonna stand in a staggered stance. One hand goes on your quad just above your knees. You're gonna hinge forward and it's just, we're gonna support our body weight on our leg. The working arm is gonna come up by our side and we're gonna push the dumbbell to the back of the room. Let's go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Nice job. Switch directions. Same thing. Hand on your quad, abs are tight, arm by your side, press it back. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Nice job. We're going to keep moving. Now, one thing to keep in mind as we're kicking back, the top part of your arm should remain relatively stable, not moving a lot. Most of the work is happening at the elbow 
and your wrist is going to the back. All right, get ready, get in position. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. Nice job. And let's switch sides. Arm up, kick it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. Nice job. Switch sides. We're going to do that one more time on both sides. Get into your staggered stance, hand on your quad, abs are tight. Bring your working arm up and kick it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. Nice job and switch last time. Arm is up, take it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one, nice job and rest it out. Great job. If you enjoyed today's workout, please give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and leave me a comment. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do that now so that you can continue building muscle and creating a body you love. I'll see you in the next video.